What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I grabbing? What is this? What is this, Pora? Pora's finally getting to to it that uh, this pop box is hers. <laughs> the scissors though. That's going to be a problem. Here we go. <laughs> I've got a new lid. Except for me to fill stuff out on. <laughs> There's just some empty stuff. Heart. Wait. Walk. ID. Name. I don't know. Is this something they should have filled out? <laughs> this box is confusing me already. <laughs> All right, let's see how easy this sticker is. A little bit more difficult. We got it anyways. Got it anyways. Okay. So we got a couple of things up front first again before our training. But uh, they definitely say, hey, look, they, they check out their new look. Oh, hi, puppy fan. Okay, so it says to, that I'm supposed to fill in my puppy's age in months. One of my puppy's favorite things and their height and weight. Okay, so I see the purpose now. It's specifically so that you can do that and then post selfies of yourself and your pup box on Instagram. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> I will put this here to remind myself that that is a separate thing. And I think this is actually um, a little ad thing for themselves. Because uh, they've got a spring cleaning, which I had got an email about and I'm actually excited for. I'm actually wondering too when the sale ends. <laughs> yeah. Um, because if you've watched my previous video, we did have a bad toy and they did give me money for it. So I do have some money that I can spend on their website. Um, so I was a little bit interested in their little spring cleaning sale that they had going on. So, but no time. Oh my gosh. I see fuzz coming up. I can't see it yet. <laughs> okay. So, got eight month training. And uh, let me just go ahead and take a quick look over this. Selective hearing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of reminding me how to be a good leader, um, especially if they're challenging me or showing aggressive behaviors. Excuse me, you're doing a video. Can you not take a bath? Especially down there. Thank you. Um, so, it's it's got a whole bit there how to remind me on how I'm supposed to be calm, essentially. <laughs> um. Oh, no way. So, they are advising me to to brush her teeth and to start young, um, to not avoid their dental health, and it says that they included a toothbrush. <laughs> 
Maybe setting a routine for my puppy will help me. <laughs> we'll see. You're a teenager. Did you know that? I did. Well, it's just starting it. So, in case you are unfamiliar with, um, your dog's body language. It actually goes through some of the simple um, body language cues, like what their ears are doing, um, their hair, just general kind of actions. And right now, you're excited and you're just holding it in so well. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Okay, so let's flip it over. Drop it or give on command. Mm. Yeah, my my older dog, Lilu, is very possessive. Um, well, she can be very possessive. She's not always, but that's been a big thing for my big dog to learn how to drop it because she'll just take a toy and take off with it. So she's generally learning these kinds of things, um, but she still has problems with coming here and stuff like that, so, um, I, which I think a lot of puppies will, depending on their size and where you can take them and the environments that they're used to. And it's just a reminder to, yeah, to, if, uh, you, your dog has something that you want <laughs> and you want the dog to give it to you don't keep going after the dog like if it's running away um, is it's just going to think it's a game everything that you do is probably going to be considered funny at that point like if they're playing and have a toy in their mouth so um, if your dog doesn't know how to quite drop things yet be really careful on how you approach how you physically approach the dog um, because they just might think it's fun <laughs> Thank you. And she just thinks we're doing high fives, huh? Yeah. Well, we pretty much are. Yay. Two. We got two of something. Okay. Or a little, ooh. What? Okay, we're, we got to see about this toy in here. Here's a toothbrush and toothpaste kit. Yeah! <laughs> <clears throat> it says it's dishwasher safe, the toothbrush. Oh, the little toothbrush. It's so cute. Vanilla mint flavored. I cannot imagine that tastes very good, to be honest. I'm sure the mint will make their breath smell great, but... I'm not quite sure vanilla mint is always the one they, that you should start out with. Anything peanut butter flavored is usually good. <coughs> so I will need, yeah, this is for toy breeds and cats, so they definitely know our little puppy here. So small. <coughs> it's a non-foaming toothpaste. Yeah. <clears throat> So we will have to try this out. Yay! All right, what next? All right, so we learned from last time, don't do any form of treat first, right? We got a little rope! Oh, we needed another small rope. I don't know what happened to the last one. And this is where I feel bad because I don't have the scissors. Hey, <laughs> new rope toy for poor. 
thing. I'll grab it. It's right here. She carries this big, big dog rope around, and it is hilarious. I am surprised she does so well. She carries this around. It is literally the size of her. <laughs> and I don't know what happened to the other small one we had. Yay! We got a small rope! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else do we have? <gasps> what is this? What is this? Oh, I definitely need scissors. Okay. So here's here's the smart toy, I believe. Um So with every box you get one smart toy and that I guess essentially is always going to mean how to get the treats out of it. <laughs> I don't really know any other smart toys. Um, so, yeah, I think this is just a fake berry thing, and then you just stuff treats in it. That's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Saying that's what these are for, these little choosies. Oh, yeah, it looks like the scene. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I assume that they, they go in here. This this has a chewo meter, five out of five, extremely durable. But I saw it also on the background reminds you that no dog toy is indestructible. Well, we'll see. I'll have to go get the scissors and cut that open and then give it to her. Um, one thing I don't like about it already is that it's got fuzz all over it. So it's got, it came with hair and fuzz and so what that tells me is that this is just going to collect hair and she might be hypoallergenic but my large dog is not. My large dog is a mutt between um, a golden retriever and a Bernese mountain dog and she sheds the most I have seen. <laughs> um, so it's, it's guaranteed there's going to be hair somewhere. So if out of the box this is kind of, yep, there it drops. Oh, carpet's pretty clean and we've got some more hair on it already from it dropping. So once again, we actually might have a toy that I don't find very good to have around the house because <laughs> of the material. It's frustrating. We'll get to it. We'll see. You want the, you want to see what's in here next? You like your rope. You're so excited. What else is in here? We got another toy. So, this ultrasonic toy, apparently only dogs can hear it. And his tail. This was the fuzzy thing I saw. <laughs> I don't even know where the squeaker is. <laughs> she seems interested. It just sounded like air. Huh. <laughs> she does react every time I squish the head. <laughs> you getting it? This is a bunch of tags on it. Or like it's attached to a bunch. Alright, why don't you keep tuning on the front here? She just likes the general noise that the toy makes before I even squish it. It's like this outer casing. she can hear it. I still need the scissors. So, 
I think I'm going to take a break and I'm going to go get some scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't find the scissors. I'm going to have to try to keep getting it off with this. It's kind of been working, so we'll see. <laughs> Make sure there's no more plastic bits in it. I could have sworn I just saw one. Yeah. Two actually. Oh, they're still in there. Here. Interesting. I wonder if this is so we can see what's inside. That is. I think this is what it's made with. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we magically have scissors now. <laughs> Cut this last little tag off. small for five to fifteen pounders <laughs> all natural double brush infused with mint flavor breath strips another mint it's called fresh kisses so that's cute I've given her similar things they, the, um, they sell at the store that are that look like toothbrushes or sometimes like little dinosaurs or like I mean, they're not they're like alligators I think um, oh and this is Merrick Merrick is a good brand. So let's go ahead and try this little guy. Hey, poor G. Oh, that is. Smells like mint something. Ooh, what is that? Go ahead. Is that weird? There you go. And I am going to go ahead and just give the other one to my big dog. Now, I know she's a lot bigger than 15 pounds, but I think she'll be okay. She's chewed on a lot of small stuff before and gotten through it. It's like this. <laughs> the same thing. See? There's yours. Hey, Lulu, come here. Come here. So you're gonna brush your teeth. Brush, brush, brush. I'm just kidding. You get to chew brush. <laughs> She's like, can I take it, Mom? <laughs> Go ahead. So Pora, I think, is gonna think it's super weird, and it's just gonna be something that hangs out in her kennel, probably. <laughs> um, Cause I'm telling you, if it's got mint in it, I don't think dogs are a big fan. It also feels sticky already, so... I don't think I want her doing it on the couch. Uh, uh, you really want it now. Yeah, Lily's crunching through it. <laughs> I think Lily's trying to figure out the leftover taste still. That's all Lilu keeps doing. <laughs> yeah? 
Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's kind of weird. Did I? Oh, oh, here. So since she's eating that thing, kind of pointless for me to brush her teeth right away. So I might wait on that too. So I did just catch Porgy um, running off with what was left of her little mint bone. Um, I had to freak out at first, like, did you just throw that up? Because it was an interesting pile, but I highly doubt that she did, because she's still got to chew through all of it. But she, uh, I, I went to go check to, to see, you know, what is this? And uh, she freaked out like I was going to take it from her, um, you know, and I, I might have. So I had to remind her, I had to pull her away from the toy altogether and remi remind her that if I'm going to see what it is, I have a right to touch it and to grab your treat. Um, so make sure that you don't allow your dog's aggressive behavior to continue. Um, and I was calm when I addressed her. I had to immediately grab her collar, of course, to kind of stop her from completing her lunch. <laughs> But, you know, I just grabbed her and was like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Calm down. So, um, that's going to help them not always be mistrustful or aggressive, especially. And what's going to be good practice is, if you notice they're doing that a lot, is do that with, like, everything you hand them to eat, whether that's food, treats. Make sure that you can hand it to them that you can touch them while they're eating and that you can take it away all without them aggressing you. It's very, very important. Um, and just like the training says to stay calm. Uh, and because uh, the, the point is to not aggress them back, you know, it's to show them that aggression isn't necessary. So what I've been doing this whole time is I've been trying to get the other end of the plastic tags. So when I told you that came out so easily and nice with the elephant toy that she has now, well, this is opposite. And, I mean, you'd think that'd be easy enough because, well, you could get to them through here. <laughs> you can't very easy. They're not coming through. And, like, one of them I've pushed completely through, but it's still apparently not through the whole thing so I've just been sitting here trying to clean it I rinse it off um cause like I said there was hair and fuzz on it already so I don't trust this toy will be enjoyable to have in her mouth as soon as it starts hitting the ground I really don't want these plastic bits, bits to come out though ouch when I don't want it to Yep, one accidental drop on the carpet and this is covered in hair. That's disgusting. Second month in a row that these smart toys are not a hit. Okay, so uh, let's reluctantly try this one out. <laughs> this is, um, gonna be devastation as soon as it hits the carpet or anything that's ever had hair on it. The curls are perking up. It's kind of moist so I know we're gonna have to go through these. 
They might be dog treats, but you gotta go through them too. They go stale. Wow, are you kidding me? I just put two treats in here. I'm gonna laugh if they can't even get these out. Yeah, that's all you could. Maybe you're only supposed to put one in there. Should I just break some? Here, why don't you go ahead and play with it? We just put two in there. Or we put three in there. I guess I don't remember. She gets to chew on it. Seems like it'll be a good toy for, uh, don't get ripped up easily. I hope. I hope it doesn't rip up easy because she's uh, getting excited to really chew on it. Yeah. Looks pretty tough. Felt pretty tough. Hopefully she can't get through it too easily. So if you could texture of the berry ball, <laughs> that's what I'll call it, the berry ball. The texture, I think, is fun for them because they always end up chewing on it. Excuse me, Lilo. Very bad manners. That was extremely rude. You don't talk to your sister like that. You're sharing. You are sharing right now. Yes, you are. She's wagging her tail. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. It took me saying that they're sharing, though, for her to wag her tail. <laughs> so, talking about aggression and how to deal with it when you've got food and stuff. So I've got a huge dog that just growled at my like five, six pound dog um, over this treat ball, <clears throat> the treat fairy ball. Yeah, she's wagging her tail at me now. All you gotta do is talk to him, you know? So I say, oh, that's rude. Well, that was bad manners. No one likes that. Don't do that, please. <laughs> Yeah. So you want to be firm, but you want to be calm and nice because you want to you want to give a good example on how to behave, right? If you've got bad manners and bad behavior, you want to show them what good behavior is. So, poor got her ball back and got her turn because you had bad manners, didn't you? But you can have it back. Yeah, you waited. Yeah. So I think this, this is made with a turkey and duck recipe, and it's a turducky. <laughs> so that has got no mint in it, thank goodness. <laughs> no more mint. Yeah, Lilu doesn't get it. You get bored, don't you? Yeah. You'll like it just for the fact that it's a small ball. Yeah. You like small balls, don't you? <laughs> Pora's getting determined though. This is good to see that that a mind toy that is tough definitely frustrates her in a good way. Huh. It's making her come back to it. Making her determined. Just good. You want a toy that they keep playing with. <laughs> so I think that Lilu would play with it more if we weren't all staring at her face right now. I also think she'd still get bored like she is because it's not coming out. 
So Lila just gets sad, like it's not working. <laughs> They're playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, it's cute. Hopefully they learn to play together. And they keep their manners. And they don't get mad at each other. And they share the ball and they share the treats. I she found the piece that I gave her. <laughs> it fell out. just not going to want to touch it as soon as it gets gross. Did you find some more? Good girl! So hopefully with some practice and some good work, she'll figure out that it's a mixture of chewing and chomping up the bits while they're inside still and rolling the ball around so that it can actually fall out. That'll take some time. And like I said, so it's got hair all over it already. And it's just been sitting on the couch. So it's just not going to be fun to touch for me or for her. Um, not excited. I don't know why they had to make it out of a sticky rubber, a sticky plastic. So. This is a hit, obviously. Super great. And so is the purple elephant. Lila loves it. They both cuddle with it and they can hear it. And we can't. It just sounds like air squishing out. So that's pretty interesting. Usually when I see something advertised where only a dog can hear it, um, they never care. I'm, so I just never know, like, do you hear it? <laughs> but they do. They seem to hear it and love it. Like it's a normal squeaky toy. Um, she's over there riding with it right now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking that I'm actually going to try this out on my video that I'm going to do where we're going to um, take care of Porgy, like um, get a bath going, clip her nails, so we'll brush her teeth then too, <laughs> do a bunch of grooming stuff on one of these videos, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> she likes it. It's her new buddy. <laughs> well, you just want to play with your toy? Is that it? You just want to play with your new toy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see the toy, Lilu? Her ears picked up. Her ears perked up. She seems to really perk up. 
What is it? <coughs> She's just staring at me all crazy. <laughs> Come try it out. Oh, she's like, hell no, mom, that's mine. Check out the toy, Lilo. Come here. What is that? <gasps> See, their ears pick, perk up. That's poor. Go get it, poor. Do, 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 do. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, Lilo. Come here. <laughs> Are you mad? Of course, Lily likes the stuffed elephant toy going on there. Nuzzle in it as usual. Huh. You bored? So she finally went to a rope there. She's been chewing and chewing and chewing on this for a while. And nothing. She can't. She can't get them out. Oh, go get it. Oh, even I dumped some out. Hey, Leela, look. Look, some came out. Right there. Let's see. Well, this is kind of fun if it keeps doing that. We can just use it as a ball, and then sometimes cheats pop out. <laughs> yeah, are you a pretty girl? Are you a pretty girl, Lilo? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> You're a pretty girl. Yes. You're a pretty girl. Oh. oh. Ha, 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 ha.